How you guys doing? My name is Matt Balducci, high performance coach and business owner. And one of the biggest questions I get all the time is, Matt, what is your morning routine? Obviously, there's a ton of videos out there already with this topic. And here's the truth of the matter. There's a reason there's so many videos on this topic, but why doesn't everyone have a morning routine? When, if you look up any successful person right now, every single one of them says you should, and every single one of them says they have one, right? If you look at Dwayne The Rock Johnson, if you look at Tom Bilu of Quest Nutrition, if you look up uh, Steve Jobs, if you look up Mark Zuckerberg, if you look up all these successful people that we all wanna be, they all have morning routines. And the crazy part about it is that most people do not, especially the average person. But what I'm telling you is I wasn't perfect either. I did not have a morning routine for most of my uh, career until recently. And since I implemented a morning routine, I've been more effective. I'm actually in best shape of my life because of it. I've actually become a better father and husband because of it. Ultimately, you're gonna hear everyone. Here's what my morning routine is. Here's what yours should be. All these different things. You have to figure out what is the best thing for you. Right, And I can sit here right now and tell you what my morning routine is and that's great and you can pat me on the back and say congratulations Matt, you have one. But I'm gonna tell you right now, there are a couple quick things you can do in the morning that will allow you to actually have one, but also what is actually stopping you from having a morning routine is simple. And this is what stopped me, is that I didn't have a reason to wake up in the morning. And I didn't have my why. Why would I need to wake up earlier than my job? Most people, and this is okay, wake up because they have to go to work. If you didn't have a job, you probably wouldn't wake up, you would sleep in, and that's normal. But if you start at nine o'clock, most people wake up at seven. The reason they wake up at seven is they know that's just enough time to get ready to get to their job. Now, is that a bad thing? No, but what I'm telling you is, what if you added one more hour to your morning? How much more can you get done? How much more? Ask yourself this, but the problem is you won't wake up earlier because you don't have a reason yet. So I want you to sit down right now and come up with why would you wake up earlier and create a morning routine. The second is it's gonna take work. This is the second reason that it will stop you from having one. You have to consciously think about it, which means that you actually have to track it and it's gonna hurt, it's gonna be painful, you're not gonna be, it's not gonna be easy. And so that's number two. Number three is that you have to, have to, have to sit down and understand what would stop you from doing it. So I'm gonna give you a couple key tips. I learned this from a ton of different books that I read on this topic. There's a good one called Miracle Morning you could read. There's a ton of others. You can watch YouTube videos. You can go ask successful people what are their morning routines. But there's a couple things you have to know. One is when you wake up in the morning, your body's dehydrated. You absolutely have to drink water right when you wake up. So what I do is I have a cup of water right next to my bed. So right when I wake up, that's part of my quick morning routine. I chug a cup of water. And what that instantly does is hydrate you and build energy. If you don't do that, you have to understand that your body's gonna be lethargic and it's gonna be super easy to fall right back asleep and snooze, which is what I used to do. Once I drink that water, I do what Tom Bilu does, which is the Quest Nutrition guy, right? Look him up, he has impact theory. Is then I take 10 seconds and I stand up and I give myself 10 minutes before I'm allowed to lay back into my bed. So what I do is I literally say, all right, Matt, and I go and leave the room and I stay up for 10 minutes. Now, typically what happens is my son then immediately wakes up because he wakes up at 5.45 or six o'clock. Now I can keep going on and on about my morning routine, but those are two quick tips, guys, is one is drink water right when you wake up. Number two is that when you get up, give yourself 10 minutes. The other thing that you absolutely need to figure out is why do you wanna wake up? What's the point, right? Literally, what is the point? So ask yourself, do you wanna go to the gym? Right? Do you wanna read more books? Do you wanna meditate? What is gonna be your part of your morning ritual? Do you wanna eat breakfast? But I will tell you right now, you don't need to have this gargantuan morning routine to start. The problem with most people is they're like, I'm gonna do a morning routine. And then what they do with that is then they make it this long, arduous path that's gonna, pretty much they're not gonna do it uh, over time. And that's what I discovered in the past is I'm like, all right, Matt, you're gonna wake up, you're gonna read for 10 minutes, you're gonna meditate for 10 minutes, you're gonna go to the gym, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that, and it just started stacking on top of each other. And all of a sudden, by the time that I got to the end of it, I'm like, wow, that was a lot of mental things. So instead, you wanna pick two things in the morning. 
whatever it might be. It might be as simple as drink water, get up and go uh, for a quick run, right? Or you can look up t uh, Tony Robbins. He does a couple jumping jacks when he wakes up, right? To get the heart racing. So there's a lot of different things, guys, you can do to have one. But I'm telling you right now, whatever you have to do in your life to have a morning ritual, you just got to figure it out. If I can go back in a time machine right now and meet Matt Belducci at 20 years old, which would be 10 years ago, I would 100% take him, sit him down and say, Matt, figure it out. Get a morning routine because I would have been way more successful at this age now, which I feel pretty successful, but I would have been more successful if I had one. And the problem was is I didn't know why or how or what I should do. I did read a lot of books. The crazy part is most people don't even know they should have one. So my goal is to educate as many people out there that they have to get a morning routine in some capacity. I don't care what it is, but try it out for three months. And in the comments below, guys, put what stops you from having a morning routine. Check out my website, Matt Balducci. But there's a lot of different things you can do, guys, in your life to have one. I'm just telling you right now, get one.